Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Chris Zook and James Allen and their best-selling book, The Founder's Mentality. The book has the subtitle, How to Overcome the Predictable Crisis of Growth, and investigates why profitable growth is so hard to achieve and sustain. During this research, they found that many executives believe that profitable growth occurs by controlling the external environment. However, they also discovered that 90% of the time, when companies fail to achieve their growth targets, the root causes are actually found in internal factors, like for example, increased distance to the front line, amplified bureaucracy, and magnified complexity. This is the growth paradox. Growth creates complexity, and complexity is the silent killer of growth. Part 1. The Founder's Mentality Zook and Allen found that some companies manage to achieve sustainable growth without falling victim to the growth paradox. They argue that these companies share three traits. An insurgent mission, an owner's mindset, and an inherent obsession with the front line. Together these traits constitute the founder's mentality. An insurgent mission. If your company does not already have a clear and bold mission, you have to start here. And remember, that every employee needs to understand the company's mission and be able to answer the crucial question of why the company exists. An owner's mindset. A strong owner's mindset is the rocket fuel that propels a company to success. It consists of three traits, an enormous bias to act quickly, a tremendous distaste for complexity and bureaucracy, and a constant guarding of every dollar spent. <laughs> Having an owner's mindset throughout the organization means that every employee feels a strong sense of responsibility and a true commitment to the success of the company. An inherent obsession with the front line. With success comes growth. With growth comes organizational complexity. And along with that, decision-making often shifts to employees that sit several layers away from the front line and have never made a product or served a customer. Zook and Allen found that great leaders sustain an obsession with the front line and do everything they can to reduce this distance between decision makers and front line. Whether it's by insisting that people work at a store every month or that every meeting begins with a customer story. Part 2. Crisis of Growth Zook and Allen identify three crises of growth that every growing company face and need to navigate safely in order to achieve sustainable growth. These crises are often difficult to detect early on, so it is important to stay alert and look for initial warning signs in order to initiate action. The three crises of growth are as follows. Number one, overload. A crisis of overload occurs due to increased internal complexity and loss of external momentum. This often occurs to young, fast-growing companies as they rapidly scale their business. As the company grows in size, their current systems to hire, decide, adapt, and stay in touch with the customer are all straining at the seams, threatening to kill momentum and degrade what made the business so successful in the first place. Number two, stall out. A crisis of stall out occurs when a sudden slowdown of growth sets in. It happens as the rapid growth gives rise to layers of organizational complexity and dilutes the original agility and strong sense of mission that once gave the company its focus and energy. This is a crisis faced by more mature companies that discover their growth formula of the past is reaching the limit. Number three, freefall. This is the most existentially threatening crisis. A company in freefall has completely stopped growing in its core markets. The management team often feels it has lost control. They can't identify the root causes of the crisis and don't know what levers to pull to escape it. This is the crisis faced by companies where the business model, at least in part, is facing obsolescence. Each of the three crises is different, yet they share a few warning signs that all relate to the slowing energies of organic growth. Increased difficulty attracting and retaining top talent. Loss of clarity on the unique purpose and differentiation of the company. A decline in advocacy and loyalty from the most progressive customers. Young insurgent competitors gaining market share in your core areas. Slowing organic growth. Zook and Allen found that more than 80% of a company's major swings in value can be traced to decisions and actions taken at moments of these three internal crises. 
The good thing is that if addressed with the founder's mentality, each crisis can be leveraged into a moment of huge value creation. And that is why the founder's mentality isn't just a nice to have, but a need to have. And with that, we conclude this video on the founder's mentality by Chris Zook and James Allen. We hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.